welcome to biology lectures with accurately all at the philip on today's edition we'll just be solving some questions based on some topics in this instance it is um diffusion all right it says here you use the diagram above to describe the process of gas exchange in the lungs try to include all these words in the box so of course this structure is the alveolus in the lung alveolus in the lungs and this is the blood capillary surrounding it blood capillaries let me just call it one in this instance so okay of course now we have alveoli inhaled carbon dioxide oxygen diffuses red blood cells and exhaled so these cells are red blood cells actually but um, some are oxygenated some are deoxygenated of course you can see oxygen moving in here and carbon dioxide going into the alveolus so this explanation is to guide us to okay so let's write it this way when uh sorry when oxygen is inhaled into into the alveoli comma it diffuses into the blood blood capillaries or just a blood okay let's say capillaries okay, that's not wide enough for me blood capillaries combining with the red blood cells full stop on the other hand carbon dioxide dioxide diffuses from the blood into the alveolus to the alveolus and it is exit so alveoli let me still use the alveoli the same plural form alveoli and it is it is exhaled back into the atmosphere so of course let me see this part you might not have to write it exactly the way i've written it so far you're able to use for example now in this instance here okay i was able to use oxygen i was able to use inhaled i was able to use alveoli i was able to use diffuses i was able to use uh red blood cells i was able to use carbon dioxide i was able to use um exhaled again now of course i was i used some words too i so if you count this one two three four five six seven what do we have here one two three four five six seven yes so the keywords once you use them in the right context in the right um way of um grammatical correction if it's used grammatically correctly it's fine then all right now it says the left side of the heart pumps blood to the rest of the body now describe what happens to the substance in the blood as it passes 
close to the body tissue try to include all these all the keywords in the box now funny enough this question is um relevant for um diffusion as a topic and also re relevant for um cardiovascular system i mean that circulatory system because the lungs and the heart work hand in hand so it says describe all so those are the keywords okay now um, okay i'm actually looking at those words to see okay in the tissue oxygen diffuses in diffuses in to combine with glucose to release energy in the process so that's middle up in the process called respiration all right so stop at the same time carbon dioxide is released from the tissue as a waste product oh sorry i just saw something now this muscles ought to be tissue sorry this tissue here ought to be muscle so i think uh maybe i should put this away okay i think i should erase this one it should be muscle this other one too should be muscle now what is happening here is uh, let me draw something here for you to see this is a cell right there that um so what happens is ordinarily speaking of course that cell has um mitochondria there it has nucleus for sure then so what happens normally is so this this cell let's assume this cell is in the muscle tissue so to say like that so so what happens is oxygen diffuses in like that so why it diffuses in to come out with glucose then carbon dioxide is released as a waste product that way co2 is released as a waste product and energy is formed here so to say so it's just an illustration so but the point is this is explaining testing your understanding how what diffuses into the cell and what diffuses out of the cell and what's the aim of the diffusion so to say all right then we move on to this other question here it says the diagram shows four four ways in which molecules move may move into and out of a cell the dot shows the concentration of the molecules okay okay the cell is respiring aerobically this is a keyword that means it's going to be needing oxygen to do what it does okay then arrow which arrow a b c or d represents movement of oxygen wow this looks like what i just explained in the, in the previous question movement of carbon dioxide side molecules okay now we know that from what i showed you here you know that carbon dioxide if the cell is respiring aerobically 
oxygen will move into the cell while carbon dioxide will move out of the cell so that means we need we expect to look at the part where things are moving where okay for the oxygen where it is moving in now we have this arrow showing oxygen moving moving showing something moving in we have this arrow also showing something moving in however the two cannot be correct now we have the dot saying the dot shows where it is small so in a here which is our answer you see that there's a small dot outside which shows moving from higher concentration to lower concentration which is what oxygen does so the answer here is um, a then it says movement of carbon dioxide now in the same way carbon dioxide is meant to move outside the cell so this is moving out of the cell this is also moving out of the cell but um, if you look closely carbon dioxide is meant to move out from area of high concentration to low concentration and that will be here so that makes option um part a correct or part b i mean to say this one correct so it says name the process by which these gases move into and out of the cell and that will be diffusion all right thank you for being with me on the class please do remember to subscribe like this video and share for your friends to your friends thanks so much